my dear students in this class let us learn about neo darwinism neo darwinism is understanding darwin in a new perspective in a new dimension we know pretty well that charles darwin proposed various theories like prodigality of the species constancy of population struggle for existence survival of the fittest natural selection and origin of species and all these theories and postulates of uh, charles darwin were supported by neo darwinists neo darwinists are nothing but the group of scientists who supported the darwinism principle learning objectives behind this lesson is in this class we are going to learn about the list of neo darwinists of course this list is very long and the various experimental methods followed by this neo darwinists to support the cause of charles darwin and there are various objections to darwinism we know pretty well that whenever the scientist proposes one theory automatically the world is polarized into critics and supporters and the supporters of darwin who are aptly called as neo darwinists found out the answers to various objections in charles darwin theory and in this class we can also learn about the point mutations in relation to neo darwinism and natural selection concept will also be highlighted in this session let me repeat scientists who supported charles darwin are called neo darwinists and the first and foremost scientist in the list of supporters is huxley huxley was called bulldog of charles darwin because he used to follow charles darwin like a shadow second scientist is heckel who proposed one theory called recapitulation theory and recapitulation theory states that ontogeny repeats phylogeny ontogeny is the developmental history and phylogeny is the ancestral history and the developmental history of an individual or developmental history of an organism recapitulates the ancestral or phylogenic history of that particular organism this theory was called recapitulation theory and the theory is proposed by huxley and heckel of course support charles darwin concept of evolution and simpson is another scientist in the list Wiesmann August Wiesmann is another scientist who proposed uh, one theory called germplasm theory and according to August Wiesmann cytoplasm within the organism is divided into germplasm and somatoplasm somatoplasm is the cytoplasm that is present in the body cell whereas germplasm is the cytoplasm that is present in the germ cell and according to August Wiesmann all the characters that are influencing the germplasm will be handed over to the next generation whereas all other characters which influence only somatoplasm but which fail to influence the germplasm will die along with that individual in that particular generation that means those characters which are influencing the somatoplasm alone will not be handed over to the next generation this theory was called germplasm theory and this was proposed by august wiesmann and this germplasm theory undoubtedly supports the darwinism concept and hugo de vries of course who told that evolution gallops like a horse charles darwin used to say that evolution follows a snail pace according to charles darwin evolution was dead slow and damn slow because no one can see the entire process of evolution in his lifetime because it took millions of years it took millions of years for an amoeba to develop into a full fledged mammal that means no individual on the earth can see this process of evolution within his 100 years of life span that means according to charles darwin evolution follows a snail pace whereas hugo de vries who proposed the concept of uh, mutations in enothera lamarckiana of course supported charles darwin like anything of course knowingly or unknowingly he supported charles darwin so hugo de vries proposed the theory of mutation and uh, this paved the way for darwinism fisher is another scientist ford holden of course holden is the scientist who proposed the, or who coined the term holdenian soup to primordial soup civil right effect civil right proposed a civil right effect which is also called of course genetic drift which i already made it very clear in my previous lesson and dobojonsky who coined the term mendelian population 
and Gregor Mendel himself who proposed various theories of inheritance. And all these theories of inheritance proposed by Gregor Mendel knowingly or unknowingly supported Darwinism. And Kettlewell is another scientist who explained the process of natural selection by taking Biston Betularium moth as examples. And let me repeat that Neo Darwinists are those scientists who supported Darwin in all aspects. And they followed two methods. One is they gave experimental evidence and they came out with reasonable answers to the objections in Darwinism. Neo Darwinism is also called modern synthetic theory or genetical theory. Neo Darwinism includes, that means modern synthetic theory includes gene mutations. Gene mutations are nothing but point mutations because we know very well that genes are situated on the chromosome in a particular place called locus. That means gene is a very, very, very minute structure and any change that is taking place at the level of gene is called gene mutation and also point mutations because of their minute nature. If any mutation take place in more than one nucleotide, then it can be called as gross mutation. Point mutation is a term applicable to the change in one nucleotide. Whereas if the change is occurring in more than one nucleotide, then you can also call it as gross mutations. Like that gene mutations, which are nothing but point mutations, bring change in the phenotype and also in the genotype of an individual. Of course, there are various types of gene mutations like frame shift mutations. Uh, we will learn about all these things uh, in next lesson, of course. Chromosomal mutations are another types of mutations and these mutations occur at the level of chromosomes. And these are of different types. For example, you take one chromosome like this and imagine it contains certain parts like A, B, C, D. If chromosome is fragmented, that means if one particular fragment of chromosome is deleted, imagine here if the CD is removed, that mutation is called deletion mutation. If any part of the chromosome or if any base pair is duplicated, that is called duplication. If it is occurring in an inverted condition, that means instead of ABCD, if it is ABDC, then it is called inversion. And if one particular fragment of chromosome is deleted and if it is attached to some other chromosome, then that is called translocation. The best example for translocation is with Philadelphia chromosome, of course. We will learn it, learn about it in another lesson called mutations, of course. So like that, this mutation theories will also support Darwinism. Genetic recombinations, which are the raw materials for the evolution, of course, because these genetic recombination occur only in case of sexual reproduction, because in sexual reproduction, one set of chromosomes will be coming from maternal side and another set of chromosomes will be coming from paternal side. And this paternal and maternal chromosomes will exchange certain fragments with each other in the process of crossing over. And this is a source for change. This is a source for variations, of course. And natural selection. I will explain this natural selection by taking a case study of Biston Betularia in upcoming slides. Reproductive isolations. These reproductive isolations are uh, followed by, of course, geographical or spatial isolations. And ultimately, they result in the formation of new species. Gene mutations, of course, I made it very clear. These gene mutations are called point mutations because gene mutations occur at very minute levels. And if any change occurs in more than one nucleotide, that is no more point mutation, then that becomes a gross mutation. Change in the structure of DNA molecule, of course, is called gene mutation and these gene mutations alter the phenotypic characters of individuals. Chromosomal mutations, I already explained this, structural changes in chromosomes and they may be catalyzed by deletion, addition, duplication, inversion and translocation. Genetic recombinations are possible only during meiosis.
which takes place during the formation of gametes and crossing over of course which is a part and parcel of meiosis natural selection which is a driving force of evolution it provides a wonderful platform for evolution this natural selection concept was of course explained by kettle well by taking biston betularia and biston carbonaria moths into consideration and the change that is brought about by industrialization in the color of moths is titled as industrial melanism. Kettlewell studied the moths in Manchester. Manchester is a city in British countries. In Britain, Manchester is a city. Before industrialization, of course, there were two types of moths. White moth is called Biston betularia and black moth is called Biston carbonaria. Biston betularia is a white moth, Biston carbonaria is a black moth. You remember carbon means black. Carbon means black. Charcoal is black in color because it contains carbon as an integral part. So Biston betularia is a white moth and Biston carbonaria is a black moth. Before industrialization in Manchester, the barks of the trees, the trunks of the trees were pale in color. When white moths and black moths sat on this pale colored bark, white color moths used to get mixed up with the surroundings because the background is also white in color. When white colored moths alighted on white background or white bark they used it to get mixed up that means the white moths used it to mimic the color of the bark before industrialization as a result when white moths and black moths namely biston betularia and biston carbonaria sat on pale colored bark of the tree predator birds used it to identify used it to spot out black moths very easily because black moth color is in contrast with the surroundings in contrast with the background they fail to mimic the color of the background as a result what happened because predators started feeding upon black moths extensively because they were not in a position to identify the white moths the white moths population increased in leaps and bounds and black moths populations decreased drastically and this is before industrialization but courts turned in favor of black moths in post industrialization period after industrialization what happened many industries were established in and around manchester and these industries used to emit soot emit smoke from the chimneys and all this soot that is emitted from the chimneys used to get deposited on barks of the trees as a result because of the deposition of soot on the bark of the tree the pale colored barks pale colored trunks of trees were gradually converted into dark color now whenever black and white moths whenever black and white moths alighted on this trunks now the trunk of the tree became black in color previously it was white in color now on this black trunk when white color and black color moths alighted now it became very easy for uh, predator birds to identify the white moths because now white moths are in contrast with the background so whenever the surroundings change you have to change whenever whenever the surroundings change the organisms are changing themselves this is an integral part of change management. Change management is an integral part of survival in turn. If you are not in a position to change yourself, then you will become extinct like a dinosaur. Here is a very clear cut case of Biston betularia and Biston carbonaria. Any individual that is accepting the change and that is changing itself according to the changes in the environment, it is surviving. It has got greater survival value. So it's not advisable to be rigid. For example, I will give one live example. In this pandemic period, when COVID broke out, 
we are changing our teaching methodology we are simply changing our teaching methodology we are switching over to online mode from offline mode otherwise even teachers will become extinct like dinosaurs so that is about industrial melanism so let me again explain about this concept of industrial melanism here you can see both uh, white moths and black moths you can apply all the points which i narrated just now to this diagram white moth is called beston betularia and black moth is called beston carbonaria of course and this concept of industrial melanism in support to natural selection was proposed by kettlewell and this took place this case study took place in manchester resistance to ddt is another example in support of survival of the fittest proposed by charles darwin previously mosquitoes were killed like anything when we spray ddt now the mosquitoes will wait for the spray of ddt they are it seems they are feeding upon ddt of course i am just uh, magnifying that effect so any individual any organism it may be a microorganism or macroorganism or any individual will develop some sort of resistance to the toxins and the tolerance to antibiotics by bacteria is another example of course nowadays of course superbugs have evolved superbugs are those bacteria on which the antibiotics do not work at all due to abuse of antibiotics due to misuse of antibiotics because the indians used antibiotics without any discrimination as a result bacteria developed some sort of tolerance to these drugs to these antibiotics superbugs came into existence this is the reason why the patients are dying after operation during post surgery care although antibiotics are given operation is success but patient is dying because antibiotics are not working properly in the post operational care methods i will give you one more example anthozanthum grass variety showed metal resistance in mining areas that means those anthozanthum that is growing in the areas of mining they show some sort of resistance to these metal toxins the existence of deleterious genes in a population is called genetic load that means harmful gene frequency is called a genetic load genetic drift is also called sewell right effect which i already made uh, very clear in my previous lesson the change in the frequency of genes that occurs by chance not by selection is called genetic drift if a small group of individuals from a population starts a new colony in an isolated region those individuals are called founders then the allelic frequencies of descendants will be similar to founders rather than ancestors of course for this the best example is red indians in red indians the entire population is filled up with o group individuals o blood group individuals the contents of this slide was already made clear in my previous lesson so this is about the concept of neo darwinism let me repeat let me uh, bring out the gist bring out the quintessence bring out the summary of this topic neo darwinism is nothing but understanding darwinism in a new perspective in a new dimension neo darwinists are the group of scientists who supported the cause of charles darwin they followed different methods and they followed different experimental methods to support charles darwin huxley is called bulldog of darwin heckel proposed recapitulation theory hugo de vries proposed mutation theory of course there are various types of mutations like gene mutations which are also called point mutations and kettlewell supported natural selection by taking the examples of beston betularia and beston carbonaria and the entire concept that was proposed by kettlewell was called industrial melanism so this is about neo darwinism theory thank you very much